But anyway, back to the cool thing. Back to the I, cool I just got to know one thing before what? you get started. What? I'm way better to look at than Phil, right? Negative, sir. Oh, you talking about Robertson? Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, sure. Would you rather stare <laughs> across at me or your brother? I'm scared of Phil. No, Phillip. I'll take you. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> I'll okay, take, you I'll take you. Tell your story now. We're hey, good. I was going to give it one of them. Uh, but no. since he put it that way, yeah, I, I'll take you. And I smell good. Hey, that's true. I, hey, no, I was just going to hey, say, you smell You're good. an improvement in that area. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, what you got? Back, what's, back to the cool thing. What's in okay. your cross? Hey, I just think this is so cool. Look, we had a fan call in and ask a question, okay, mm -hmm. about – they called it. What? Huh? Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, was it on the call or was it on the machine there, uh, JD? <laughs> they, was it they, on the, they left right. us a message. Was it on the Google thing here? <laughs> it was on the Google thing. All right, well, it was on the Google My thing. man from Michigan, oh, what was crud, his name? he sent in a thing about the sturgeon. He sent it like three times. No, I don't want to hear the sturgeon. Oh, it don't matter. About, he, he was talking fish. My man Thomas. Mean, my man Thomas, Thomas. Thomas asked a question. About mm -hmm. the, okay, what swallowed Jonah? Now, mm -hmm. hey, here's the cool part. Here's the cool yeah, part. The question was asked by a, in my humble opinion, and I'm in the, I'm in that too, by a stupid human being. Okay, <laughs> and and hey, Thomas, I ain't calling you stupid. Okay, I'm just that's a a phrase I'm gonna use. Okay, he's calling the human race. In my opinion, is stupid. That's okay? what I was and gonna I, clarify. And he's calling of, us all stupid. But anyway, which is fine because I agree. He asked the question, "What swallowed Jonah?" Okay, I my opinion was a whale. Well, guess what? You know, oh. the Almighty looked down and chuckled, and guess what? Hey, he sent a whale, a big humpback quail, to a guy was uh, catching lobsters. He had already caught a hundred, okay? And guess what? Then, you know, the guy up on the boat is watching the guy's bubbles. He's got a tank on. He's he's deep sea diving, catching lobster. Well, the bubbles disappear, and then there's a big bunch of bubbles come up, and then a big humpback comes up and shakes his head, okay? Because the diver below, he had done swallowed him. And the diver was beating on the sides of this whale inside him. And so he comes up and spits him back out. That's my near the story of Jonah. <laughs> okay? It was only So I just minimum. thought it was <laughs> so cool that a human being asked a question and then God chuckled and said, I've done wrote it in my book for you, but here. Here it is again. Here you go. Here we go. Get you some of this. <laughs> Here's a reminder. Hit it one more time. In case you missed the first time. <laughs> if you missed uh, the first time, I'll remind you of first importance. <laughs> I got a question for you. Where yeah. did who? How did you know that story? Because you really just stole the whole fifth segment of this show. Well, no, we'll start it at one. I'm glad we started <laughs> well, like this. I just thought it was so cool. Where Where I'm did sorry. you see it though? Because you don't have well, a, the no. machine, as you call it. Me and my cohort over there, my handler. Okay. Went to Mississippi for an event this, this Oh, and they weekend. were all telling you about it? And and my buddy, Mark Brewster, Mark. was with us. Okay. Mark. And, Mark. and he's over there, we're sitting somewhere, and he starts laughing. I said, what's so funny? He said, what I'm looking at. He said, a whale just swallowed a man. And then he come back up, and he's shaking his head, and he said, you know, spits him back out. Yeah. And I said, I've read that story somewhere. You know the difference between me and that old boy? What? Is when I told this story, I'd have told him I was wearing like a Rapala shirt or a Booyah <laughs> shirt or something, and they'd have thought he thought that whale thought I was a topwater bait, That's and then that way just, I could get sponsored by him. Like, how many y'all caught a whale? And just don't pop these. Yeah, yeah, just I was swimming wow. like this. I was yeah. doing a little plopping around. Oh no, no, you Next hey, thing you know, you brought that up. So I was I was watching surfers. Okay. Okay, and then guess what? Yeah. Something ate him? <laughs> yeah. Look, so they, they went back and they took a guy with that, a tank on, and sure. they get under a surfer, okay, and he's got these fins on. Uh -huh. Well, guess what he looks like? A, a seal. seal. A yeah. seal, and guess what uh, hit that? Yeah. Got yeah. I think that's Sharks a, like seals, okay? I think that's from a movie. Well, whatever it was, it was for real because hey, one of them come up there and boom, no boom, popped boom, it, just boom. like a topwater bait. Oh, oh, I love it. And, it, and look, Great all you white. see, all you see left is a swirl, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a oh, uh, uh, 
Uh-oh. I can't even take the guy's name. He sings a song. Jonah? <coughs> How about Don't Look Out for? <laughs> oh, Ray Stevens. Ray Stevens. <laughs> Too Ray late. Ray Stevens. Too late. He's done got a st- free shot, boys. <laughs> that's the street. Hey, that's sharp. Yeah, hey, the freaker. Yeah, uh, here he comes. Fast thing. He ain't wearing nothing but a smile. <laughs> I love it. Well, uh, I'm glad to see Cy si have si, one uh, heck of a weekend. Oh, dude, si I was fired I up did. about I, this Jonah and the Look, Wells and story. it was a great event. Them okay. batteries is charged. What was your event? Because I was out of town, too. Well, where we where was, were you? Uh, it was with Mark Bruce. Philadelphia, Mississippi. Yeah, oh, yeah. Philadelphia, Mississippi, where the Golden Philly. Moon Casino is. With the Choctaw. Okay. Choctaw yeah, Indian. And speaking that, the chief, uh, Cyrus Ben, okay, he's the chief of the Choctaw Nation. And you That's gave, pretty cool. gave us one. He's wearing it. And I didn't. What wear is mine. that? Because is it, I, I showed it to my woman. Is that their version of Mardi Gras? No, no. no it's no. a uh, it's a serious necklace that they. Make. You only That's get awesome. that. Yeah, you only yeah, get that from, from the, the chief. chief here. Oh, they, okay. They sell some other ones in the store. It ain't from the chief. Though. But it ain't from the chief. And hey, when people hey, saw when people saw these medallions, they were like, "Y'all been seen? Oh. Have y'all been to the chief?" And so I was yeah. like, "Yeah, that's yeah. right." And hey, if you turn it over, he signed it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And not only that, hey, I brought it home. I had it on. My wife says, "Ooh, that's beautiful." <laughs> yeah. You know, well, hey, it went mm. from her neck. I mean, my neck to her neck. And, and it was like your honeymoon all over. <laughs> and that's, yeah. that's all she wrote. Yeah. And hey, I ain't getting it back. Okay. Yeah. It's she, hers. He got it. to earn it. She yeah. said, so, "Come and take it, big yeah. boy." So hey, chief. <laughs> that's right, chief. I appreciate it. My wife loves it. Okay? Oh, that's uh, awesome. No, I did, still yeah. have my deal. Remember when we did the Seminole deal? Okay. They they oh, gave yeah. us those necklaces with a cross that they had hand beaded the cross, mm. but the. The deal was made out of bone, like hey. some kind of bone. Oh, I no, still no. have that thing hanging from the mirror of my truck. I was just yeah. gonna say, if you go out and look in my truck, mine's hanging right there on on the uh, backup mirror. Yeah, hey, tell them about yeah. the drum that oh, uh, no. Chief Cyrus showed us. Yeah, yo, I'm I'm looking nosy, okay, and I'm dangerous. <laughs> it's like when I was on the with Mark, the auctioneer, and I walked in his place and picked something up, and it's a piece of junk and just just disintegrated in my hands, and then hit the floor and busted. Well, I'm in I'm in his office and there's all kind of neat stuff. You know, one of them is a drum. So I just pick up the drumsticks and well, he says, Hold it. He's, he gets on the no, no, phone. No, no, no. I'm yeah. a noise maker boy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he gets on the phone <laughs> so and, I started and a, guy, the war. a guy comes boom, in boom, and he boom, says, boom. Hey, here's the keys to my car, go get the drum that my cousin made me. So look. He brings this beautiful drum in there, and he tells how they do it. Okay, you've got to make it out of black tupelo okay. wood. Yeah. Okay. And the way you got to find out about it is, okay, you got to go in the woods and you sit down and listen. And what you're waiting to hear is is a woodpecker going. Oh, like a get, pileated yeah, woodpecker. Yeah. 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 He's eating bugs out of pileated. Hey. And uh-huh. you've got to know from the sound of it, yeah, that's a black Tupelo tree that that woodpecker's on. <laughs> so now let me go find him. And then I can cut that tree down, and all the wood is out of black Tupelo. Yeah. That's so cool. it, this is the neatest thing. They kill a deer. Okay. okay. I mean, they, they use the hide on the top of his back because oh. it's the thickest. Mm-hmm. Okay. To make the drum, they, you know, cure it. Okay, get all the hair off of it, stretch it, and they make it. The drum is round, okay, and then they make a real thin where you can bend it, okay, and they make a wraparound deal that will barely fit over that. They put the hide over it and then push it down with that wood that they've bent. Mm-hmm. Look, then they have rope all the way around it, okay, and it's it's crisscrossed. And on the, on the crisscross... They got piece of deer hide, okay, and if you move it up or down, you can actually tune this drum to whatever. If you want it real bassy and soft, you can make that, or if you want it just boom, boom, loud, you can put it up real tight, you know. So I just looked at that. I said, "That's so cool. This is handmade for crying out loud." That's awesome. You know. Yeah. You know. So uh, he's got to get with a chief because I want them to. Make me one. Did you ask him to make you a string of bells? No, 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 but I no, 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 but I am. He's gonna tell the chief I'll pay for it, okay? Because I want one of them drums. It's handmade, costs about three grand, and I'll pay for it. That's awesome. I, I want one because hey, 
it was so cool. He was showing me and hitting different, you know, beats. Mm-hmm. Man, you can tune this thing that sound like anything. John okay. David, I'm gonna send you some pictures of that so I you can. See but that. it's so awesome. Pass. Okay, it really is. I, I, You're fired up. Well, I am because I'm one sixteenth Cherokee. Okay. So, are you the only My, one in your family? That's yeah, I'm the only one. I'm the only one in. <laughs> Martin, okay. Martin. That's right. Are we, <laughs> yeah, it's Phil one sixteenth no, Cherokee. Okay, okay, so he's I got, not. I'm the only one in the family. Okay, okay. All right, just double checking. Hey, I, I, know better, I know better than that. If I've got it, okay. <laughs> My family's got it too. Okay? I'm just asking. Huh? You no, said no, he doesn't. My great great grandmother was full blood Cherokee. Okay, full blood. And you were talking about Seminoles. I went down there. And I love them people. Okay. Oh, I do yeah. too. I, no, no. I was yeah, going to ask was, you. I was going to ask you. You were with us. Oh yeah, that yeah, was fantastic. Yeah. Him and going. Yeah. Hey, y'all don't realize. Okay, if you're a football fan, you don't realize how big football players are. Because hey, mm-hmm. the Seminoles. Okay, used to be a. Uh, they was always in the playoffs. Florida when, State. When Bobby yes. Bowden. 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 Oh, Bowden. Uh, Bowden. Oh, well, I can't say it right. B-O-W-D-E-A. Okay. Hey, you know who okay. he's talking about. But anyway, Rory, when he was the coach. His son is at ULM now. Okay. Well, they'll be in the playoffs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Well, hey, I what? like your attitude. Well, hey. Go, Terry. Hey. <laughs> like father Terry. like son. Okay. He's a good coach. But anyway, yeah. he, the Seminoles were always in the playoffs. I love to watch them. I love the people. I'm Look. Just- their team come up there, the football team. Oh, I got a picture of you with them. Yeah, yep. no, I know. Hey, oh, wait. I'm 6'3, okay, and I'm going. It was Kelvin Benjamin. I said, hey, He's are the clouds boy. cold yeah. up there where you're at? <laughs> you're 6'3? Yeah. Well, I want to eat 6'2. Hey, this boy now. made me. Hey, this boy you, made me like I was. Straighten like, out the top of that back, we can get <laughs> him. Right. Right. <laughs> you got to. He going to need to be like that drum, I'm though, son. So he going to have to be that. stretched. Let me go back. Scared. I'll change that. I, I Are wish, you aware? I wish Phil was back in here. Yeah. <laughs> at, least he, at least he don't get on me. And, hey, they picked us up in a private Seminole jet that was a, probably one of the nicest jets that we've ever flown on. I can <sighs> concur that fact. Yeah. Because when and that lady asked what we wanted for breakfast, right. then she we went had in a, and cooked We it. had a personal stewardess. Okay. And stewardess. And, hey, and she was fine. I think they call them flight attendants now. Oh, and she was fine. Stewardess. Boys. Okay. <laughs> And she cooked oh, us a we're big about, omelet. We're about to be back at share. Well, right. hey, look. No, we ain't, because we're going to break. Right. <laughs> now, 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 Martin, go, Let's go, get go. out of here. We'll be back right after this. Back to about 35 years. 35. Of research and development. And here it's what? Go. And, hey, here's the good part. Per- oh Hey, it's personally working for you. Oh, yeah. And it comes from the pristine waters of New Zealand, boys. That's the trick to it. And if That's you don't okay. know, you better call somebody. You better call somebody. Now you hey, should call know a this friend. Is- call somebody. You should know we're talking about Omega XL. XL. That's what I'm talking about. It comes from the pristine pristine waters in new zealand that beautiful green muscle and it has been proven to work for you but not just for you it worked for matthew from indiana look i'm just gonna read you a quick one it says hey guys i've been using omega xl for about four months now story begins three years ago when my wife was going through breast cancer during her chemo treatments i slept in the living room on the floor with a makeshift bedding so she could recoup in our bedroom I slept mostly on my left side and had excruciating pain in my left shoulder for three years. That was with an exclamation point. So, you know it hurt. That was until I started using Omega XL. I can now say I'm 95% pain-free in my shoulder and my wife is doing great as well. Thank you all for what you do, not just turning me on to Omega XL, but for everything you do. So, Matthew... Wish Two things. Well. Thank you for yep. giving Omega XL a try, and we're so glad that it's working for you. And praise the Lord, your wife is doing better Amen. after her breast right. cancer and chemo treatments. That's awesome to hear. Matthew, it's stories like that that make these ad reads even more fun. Let's yep. just be honest yep. with what yep. they are. So Omega XL, it blocks the pain because it kills the inflammation. It doesn't just cover it up like topical rubs and creams. We're going to help get you started. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. There we go. That's <laughs> OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 800-844-4888. One last time. Hey, David, put too much pressure on me, boys. 800-844-4888. There it is. Eight. Boys. 
I do want to know, though, so I got a question for yeah. you. Why do you think Native Americans love you so much? Hey, I figured you was like, no. reminded them of like, no, no, the I medicine think. man, uh, hey. like the oh. crazy man in the village, you know? I figured they're like, <laughs> hey, I knew him. Like, <laughs> that's so good because I was just fixing to say, yeah. I'm the medicine man. There it is. <laughs> there it is. You got him, Martin. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I was just thinking it when you said, like, you're like the medicine man. So I was a man that come out from the I, TP I down on the end and that's was right. like, what y'all need? Hey, hey, look, <laughs> I got that, it. That and had them buffalo horns on my head. And so my, <laughs> don't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it. <laughs> oh, I love it. He come out from the end. Say what y'all need. Uh, that's right. What, uh, what you boys need? Good job. Hello. Hey, this thing around my neck, my medicine patch. Uh, I've got everything I need in it. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you because because I've been with him. I don't know that I've ever heard him laugh this. That, oh. that was good. It, Martin got him good. <laughs> but uh, at the event we were at in uh, Philadelphia, Mississippi, uh, for Lane Taylor, it was a Lane Taylor event, and um, I'm gonna tell y'all this. It was some of the best people we've ever met. They take care of us. You know mm-hmm. You know when events are good. This was one of the best ones that we've been on in, in a long time. And after the show, they're taking Cy, getting in the car. He's going back to the green room. He's going to grab a bite to eat before he goes back to the hotel. And these people, mostly kids, 12 and under got in free. The kids did. And there's lots of people, probably 200 people waiting to meet Cy, but they're not going to get to because Cy's gone. Yeah. So I walk in the green room and say, hey, Si, I said, listen, there's 200 kids that are lined up to meet you. <laughs> yeah, they were going to stand in front of the stage. They made a line. And I said, I said what are they yeah. lined up for? And there's and only one thing yeah. you can do. This. <laughs> yeah. So, so <laughs> this is why they like him so much because he said, you know what? He said, just bring them all in. He said, just bring everyone <laughs> over There's only one in. thing you can do then. I said, hey, yeah. here you go. I've been there. I said, hey, start them. Run up there like yeah. cattle. Truck. He saw every. <laughs> si was right. the last one to leave the event. Yeah, you know, that's and si everybody Rollins, was just baby. blown away. Yeah, well, so that's, that's why your fans love you so much. And I'll say this: that's a pact I made to myself when we started these things. There wasn't going to be somebody at them events that didn't get that chance because, no, no. you know, I, I mean, I, I remain try to remain humble in the fact that people still won't come up to me and talk to me and no, ask no. me for a picture. You know, so like, well, I just. To, to me personally, okay, and I've met people, okay, that are in the uh, limelight, and they're really not very nice. Okay? Oh yeah, that's that old phrase: "Never meet your hero." Yeah, yeah. Because, you know? but but for me, hey, the fans have made me a lot of money, okay. <laughs> Preach. And I just think, yeah, I just think it would be pretty sorry on my part if I won't take the time to sign an autograph or act, I'll take a picture with them. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. same way. No, I'm yeah. exact same. Way. I was in Fort Worth, Texas this weekend at the Bassmaster Classic, and I figured out some. Do you believe that people actually listen to what we do in here? Well, because no, it no. had to be 500 of them told me I love that duck call room podcast. Yes. Well, no, no, because here's the thing: when me and Stone and BK we went to uh, Mississippi to fish for them big copper nose brim, and then went to the Gulf to fish for red snapper and all that. BK gets on the TV when we we're at the at the uh, camp. And she brought up one. And I watched it, and I don't remember which it one was. I mean, we're crazy, but hey, <laughs> we also look, we discuss some important things. He likes some, our own some, podcast. Hey, some good He's a stuff, fan. Some good stuff comes out of it. Did here. you subscribe? Huh? Yeah. Well, I, that's good. I, I, I like subscribe and like. Hey, 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 all right. Way to go, well, I hope you hit that bell all for right, notifications. Right. Right in, boy. Leave now, us five hey, stars. Like uh, and subscribe. Hey, tell I'm your telling friends. you, they must have cleaned up in here or something because the bell's clearer than it normally is. Yeah. That's, that's because somebody went to HR and you know that Uh-oh. and because it was you. Oh, so, no. Somebody did oh, Windex that bell. Hey, I did I did ask the crowd when Cy si was doing his event and I was kind of the hype man getting them going. And I said, how many of you listen to the podcast? And I'm telling you, like 75%. There was a thousand people there and they were all... Yeah, I mean, it so people are listening. I can't people believe listen. they sit here and listen to us opine about things. <laughs> I was checking people out in the honey. I went to eat lunch with my parents at the Honey Hole Tackle Shop. It's a great place. I thought, um, I thought bing, they bing. sold baits, fishing baits. They do. And they actually sell food, food too? No. <laughs> no, they, well, had, it, they had it ordered in. I went I to eat at the oh, Honey Hole. I, I like being around Come my to parents. the Honey Hole where oh, you can get some oh, good food. Okay. So I went to eat lunch with them while they were working. They got swamped. So I'm up there checking people out. And a dude looks at me and goes, 
man, I just love that podcast. And I was like, <laughs> you you listen to it? He's like, yeah. And then the next dude in line was like, man, y'all are hilarious. And I was like, well, look, and I got to give boys. you credit too. I saw like five of them ugly shirts at that Bassmaster Club. Boom! So, All right. So you you making well, you making you making them? They've sold six or five. Oh, they, they, okay, <laughs> they've sold five right. and given yeah, them one away. Yeah, he didn't pay for it. Yeah, he didn't pay for it. <laughs> hey, I know somebody hey. that famous that that just got one recently. Well, is it your uncle that runs the uh, honey hole? Daddy, that's uncle. my dad. That's his father. It's episode 41, man. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> he, he missed that one, John David. I missed that, boy. Who would you think we was talking about when we well, said hey, Big no, Dave no, and James? I thought, oh. No, Mac. He's thinking Mac. Uncle. Are you thinking Mac? You used to hunt with my Uncle Mac. Well, I know, but I'm, th- no, I'm thinking about Matt's brother. David. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. his that daddy. Dad? That's my father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shock of all shock, boy. So I've known you for 10 years <laughs> and just right. now put yeah. it together yeah. that well, that's... Yeah. Cause I was fixing to say I can't believe you got your your uh, grandfather and grandmother running the store. It's my dad. Well, I know. Well, see, I didn't know. And they don't trust me to run anything. Well, hey, well, I fit. I wouldn't either. Hey, look, I will tell you what the honey hole is. My the dad. only place in America you can find a half ounce of white and chartreuse chatterbait. Now that's and true. I bought all of them. <laughs> now you can't. Now you can't all find them. All of them. <laughs> well, hey, That's when it. they hit, when they like something, hey, you gotta have you it. You gotta get on it. I lost my last one the other day. I said I won't do that again. That's I amazing. ain't running out of them. But look, I will say this: you were in Philadelphia, Mississippi. I was in Fort Worth, Texas. It felt good to be back out there. Ooh. It felt like the world was coming back together yeah yep. now it is a lot different now because people we've been trained for a year year and a half now to give people six foot of space so it's kind of interesting <laughs> like people even when they're waiting in line they give no, no. they give yeah. a little extra room which makes a better experience for everybody you didn't realize how much was crowding each other till this thing got up there now everybody oh. gets their own little time they get 30 seconds to a minute to talk to you and they move on nobody's like pushing yeah, to get yeah, up there in it yeah. but it felt good to see america back to normal yeah. i mean yeah. there was fifty thousand rednecks in this place all talking about fishing we're gonna be all right in we're this back country. baby we're gonna be all well, right no, in no. this country hey, that's like, what i told them over there in mississippi you know and i said everybody needs to chill out look here's what you need to do just <gasps> that's a deep breath I said, because hey take a deep breath i said because here's the good news the father the son and the holy spirit trust me when i say this they're still running this joint (laughs) okay amen you know so hey chill out and enjoy life well look we're gonna take we're gonna take some of your own advice and take a breath right here we'll be right back after here we go Let's settle the score. Uh, well, how do you want to settle the score, Phil? Yeah, I don't what, know, do, Martin. Do, are you known as the score master? Um, right. uh, well, I do have a master's <laughs> degree in score. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. What just happened? Did you know that the average American has 97 points they can add to their credit score, but no idea how to get them? The data scientists, that's right, scientists, people in like lab coats and stuff at ScoreMaster have cracked the code on how adding 97 points to your credit scores like found money. It means fast loan approvals, huge discounts, low interest rates on everything from buying or refinancing a home to leasing a new car to applying for a credit card. How fast is ScoreMaster? One member raised his credit score 33 points in just five days, another 43 points in just a couple of weeks. So look, most of them add an average of 67 points. In the first 20 days or less. That's incredible. If you do that, you have just saved $10,000 on a car loan and whoa. up to $100,000 on a home loan. Whoa, so whoa. If somebody's offering you hundred grand, are you going to take it? Of course. Well, I yeah. I'll take it. Sing and bank it. Bank no it. doubt about it. So, look, <laughs> ScoreMaster is so easy. It takes about a minute to get started. And if you hurry, you get to try ScoreMaster for free. That's right. Try ScoreMaster for free and see how many plus points you can add to your credit score. All you have to do is go to scoremaster.com slash duck. That's scoremaster.com slash duck. And once again, scoremaster.com slash duck. There it is. I, I got somebody that wants to go fishing with you. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Hold on. We and I ain't told you yet. Oh, somebody wants to go fishing with me? Uh-huh. Hold on. Ooh. Hey. Uh-huh. Is it male we, or female? Can we guess? No, no. Ooh, yet. let me guess. Hold let on. me guess. Well, before, <laughs> hold on. Look, yeah, hold we, it. Let's go We ain't even it. there yet. Right, so hold on. Look, boys. the powers that be that sit over here to my right 
didn't like the way we told y'all. So we're going to go ahead and maybe tell y'all again. If you listen on Apple Podcasts, like leave a, us a friendly review. Oh, leave uh, us a review. And a, a rating. A friendly review. A friendly one. There and a go. good rating. If you got something bad Five to stars. say, do like your parents taught you. Don't say nothing at all. How about that? Mm-hmm. How about we go back to that rule in life? <laughs> Amen, brother. So anyway, no, there you go. YouTube.com slash duck call room. All one word. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Apple Podcasts, leave a rating and review. We appreciate all of y'all because now that we've been out in the world again, I actually know y'all do listen because y'all come up and tell us. So that's awesome. We're not just talking to ourselves about right. this. Besides, well, look. To be fair, though, hmm? if we were talking to ourselves, I'm still having fun. I am too. <laughs> it, it's way better than a standard lunch I'm just glad break. that it makes him come up here two hours a week and I get to have fun. Yeah. But Si, look, for yeah. part, part of the Bassmaster Classics this past weekend, we had a celebrity pro am fishing tournament hmm. uh, prior okay. to it to raise money for charity. Okay, so we had we had some people come in, and I got to talk to him. One of them I ain't seen in a while, but I saw him again, and and he expressed a desire to go fishing with Cy. Si. Well, hey, bring him on. And who was it? John do you want to know who it was? Martin well, told me. It I may be. John it Davis. may be, and I think I'm going to get his name out. It may be Jacob Wheeler. No, no, not Wheeler. Oh, way no. cooler. No offense, Jay. No. I missed it. <laughs> yeah. Jake, oh, Jake Kevin and... Van Dam. Okay. Well, Hold Van on. Dam would probably go fishing with oh, you, but okay. well, no, no, Here. big bigger. Think, don't but, think fishing. Don't think fishing. Not, not. Think pro football hall of fame. Ooh. Well, hey, good grief! I'll never guess that. Time. Think also baseball player. Uh oh. Think one of the greatest athletes of all time. Think no. prime. Time. No way. Dion well, Sanders. I, I know. I got one question. Can he fly? Yes. <laughs> that's him. Uh-huh. I, I know. Hey. We're talking, yeah, he can come on. We talking about prime time. Neon Coach Dion Sanders. Whoa. You met Dion Sanders? Uh-huh. Was it as magical as I imagined? Hey, that's, oh, pri- that si, that's the real prime time. Oh, hey. What are you talking about? What oh, prime? look. We showed up at this lake up there in Texas. And we, me and him and Greg Hackney, Greg Hackney's a professional fisherman from Louisiana, so you know me and Hackney's tight, because we just rednecks, you know? He from Gonzales, we from West Monroe. Is that where he's from, Gonzales, Louisiana? Hackney is, not prime oh, time. well, that's where Where's I graduated Dion from. That's where I graduated high school. But anyway, so we standing there talking, and we're looking at the lake, and old prime time looks at the lake, and he says, you boys know I'm more of a private lake fisherman. Ooh. And I said, I looked at him and said, buddy, me too. Me too. Well, I, I like him proud. I'm I'm going I'm leaning toward it. Yeah. You'll like this even better. I just thought of this. You know where Deion Sanders went to college? You know him? No, Florida, Florida. State oh, hey. Seminoles. Yeah, yeah. I'm just full wow. circle. So look, yeah, Primetime wants to go fishing with he's over there coaching at Jackson State. So he lives in Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. Well, so, hey. Um I told him I had a spot we could go, and he said, we're going to make it happen this summer. So, Cy and Prime Time fishing together. That's going to be a good time. I'm just going to sit back and watch. Can I come? Yeah. I normally don't ask that. And shocker. Y'all got your fishing trips. I want to go. Y'all got your hunting trips. We're not going to be able to go in the boat with them. We'll just have to watch from another boat. We'll get a kayak. Look. Let's do that. We'll get get your dad to sponsor (laughs) one for us. Hey, you going to get the one that's got the big pedal wings? (laughs) Hey, look. And shocker, Greg Hackney and Deion Sanders won the tournament. Oh, so, there they go. Hey. Yeah, the two best at the deal there. They strapped everybody. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> Dion was awesome, though. Uh-oh. He's a good Can man. Can I say oh, yeah. Then yeah, this is, is awesome. going to be one of them, uh, uh, yeah, we got it going on. Because I never liked anybody that Dion Sanders ever played for. Like, if you were to list my least favorite. Dallas? Dallas Cow, gross. Atlanta Falcons, gross. Atlanta Braves, gross. Dion Sanders, fantastic. I used, to, a human. I used to wear a bandana <laughs> on my head when I played uh, baseball and pitching machine, and everybody called me prime time. Look, I was number 21. My prime favorite time. part about prime him time. that I saw there, though, is he walked in, he's still as competitive as when he was playing football and was trash-talking everybody in there. In trash-talking me, yeah. Yeah. trash-talking Marcus Spear, Cheryl Swoops, all of just trash-talking. And I sat back and thought, I wonder what them boys used to hear when they stood across Ooh. the line. Well, no, no, yeah. no, 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 you didn't no, want none. Get no. up in that gray matter. Hey, no, 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 no. Because he had me scared to make a cast. No, no. I, I, that, <laughs> Mark, no, no. Like, Look, yeah, what, but what you. Now? Hey, but you said he was talking trash. Oh yeah. 
Look, if you can back it up, it ain't trash. It ain't trash. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't trash. Well, yeah. Dion, look, and he can back it up. Let's not get it twisted. Now, he was talking trash because he was on the best team. Look, he recognized his teammates and said, mm. oh, yeah, we're going to be all right. He was here. pretty good, yeah. too. No, he good. They made a golden statue of him. Yeah. And that doesn't happen unless you were. So, Martin, is with he? A, is he with how tall is he? Gear. Yeah, he put that on himself. Yeah. So, Justin, is he tall as you? No, he's not as tall as me. He's probably six one. Deion six Sanders. Foot, six one. Oh, sorry, he runs know. the forty six in one. four point two seven seconds. Four point two. And he's changed. He's changed his jewelry now. His six, his one. necklace is a gold coach's whistle. It was tight. Man. <laughs> he's the coolest. <laughs> oh, he is. He was fantastic. I mean, like, right, I like that's it. one of them. Like, like file on file under never meet your heroes yeah. if Dion's your hero you won't meet him meet him he, yeah, i do want right. to meet him john day he's good he's good we're people. gonna tag along we're gonna tag him. along <laughs> we're, we'll take our own they gotta call you to set it up yeah. so i'll just ride with you down there yeah no it was good it was, it was uh it was a lot of fun he won so the money went to his charity which is actually like the jackson state athletic fund which that's good it okay. it goes that fund doesn't go to the school it goes to the student athletes so oh, that's, oh, it's that's a good. it's actually a stipend so that the student athletes are, are supplemented their income so you know through through the legal actions yeah. like yeah. they can get through yeah. it helps them pay for whatever something so tells a, me that the school might be making money off of them charging tickets and selling yeah. popcorn so yeah <laughs> so, get a little piece of the pie yeah. that's all get a little bit huh? back no oh so that's another good. discussion for another day there oh, yeah. i'm sorry no it was good he told a he told a good story about a kid right before he left here um and why that fun meant so much to him so we raised a ton of money it was great we gave money to the boys and girls club of louisiana because that's marcus spears's big deal so it's always fun to give back and when you get to hang out with those people man like it's the same old deal, though. It's what I love about the outdoors is it brought in a bunch of people who had no business knowing each other or meeting each other, gave them all a fishing rod, and instantly we had something in common. And that's that's what the outdoors does, right? I yep. mean, that's yep. why we do yep. what we do. Yep. I mean, except for if you see pictures of our senator, not our senator, but a senator, Mr. Ted Cruz, he blew it. Ted, you blew it. Son. What did he do? He had that bait cast reel sideways trying to reel it. <laughs> oh, my. Ted, Ted, you blew it, my man. Hey, hey, look, we duck hunted with Ted. Yeah. Look, when I saw him, I said, you been killing any ducks? And he, he was like, oh, man, it's you. And then they come in, they took him out in the boat, and I saw the pictures from it, and, and Big Ted's reeling that bait caster mm-hmm. sideways. It was not a good look for you, Ted. Look, you know. I'm looking at have it. Have you now. seen it? Yeah. Yeah, you found do, it. Do a little research. Hey, that's fine. Somebody, well, Maybe it was that's, a big that's on them. No, that's on them, though. They should have gave Ted a spinning reel. Yeah. that I'm yeah. putting whoever Ted handed him the him equipment. For, to and, win. Yeah, yeah. In, in charge of that mistake. Ted. So. <laughs> You know, but it was funny when I saw the pictures. I said, "Oh Lord!" I, I tell you, I got a, I got a more disturbing part about this picture. Who Uh-oh. wears blue jeans fishing? It was hot too, bro. Well, he was he was not there to fish. He was there shaking hands, celebrating. He just threw one out. He wet and a then, line just to yeah, get. Yeah, then he went out there on the lake. But oh, look, damn. we were so the second morning of that tournament. You look up. We're driving up here to it. Lightning everywhere. <laughs> And I'm like, huh? Yeah, that ain't no good. I ain't got no slicker. I ain't got yeah, nothing. that ain't no good. So I look yeah. on the radar, and in the whole United States at 4 a.m., there is one thunderstorm. It's right there And it is sitting on top of the lake that yep. these boys are about to go yep. fish. Yep. Which ain't too big of a deal. You know, rain, all that happens. But when we got there, so they had the weather channel there. Mm-hmm. Well, we're standing there talking, just, you know, making, making stories, small talk, waiting on seeing what's going to happen. The weather channel anchor come over there and said, um guys i think y'all probably gonna want to go get in your trucks now (laughs) i said huh i ain't never been told that by one of them but when he did that i i found another gear to get to my truck like and in about two minutes here it come and it was a beautiful light show the lord put (laughs) on one heck of a lightning show that the only time you listen to the weather channel if they're there in person, oh, and he okay, said, "Yeah, <laughs> if they're there in person, and he says hey. you may want to go get in your rig, you go get in your rig." I found that out. I listen to Jared so. Floyd all the time. Thank you. Yeah, the most. <laughs> That's uh, our local. Hey, I, I do like him. <laughs> yeah, the most spectacular lightning show I ever shot was in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. I mean, it ain't this ain't a little one boat. Now this, this was that spiderweb oh, stuff yeah. the other this morning. It was cool. Thing, the whole sky is lit up. 
I'm normally mm. in okay. the closet. Look, when look like a time. river of lightning. Mm-hmm. You're... Well, you think like around here, you can't really see it that good because we got all these trees out there in North Texas. And that's Texas. why I'm, I'm not afraid of the lightning. I'm afraid of the trees. In that part of Texas, the trees ain't about that big. So yeah. you can see everything. And I mean, it was a lightning show from way back. So I said, oh, mm. yeah, okay. He's showing out this morning. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> News flash. When that happens, fish don't bite. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's over on the fishing trip. I'm trail. at they go get in, in some heavy cover. So just to confirm, Osai, you're in on fishing with Prime Time. Oh, yeah. Me, yes, oh, we yeah. are. We are confirmed. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Me and John si David. And fi- are oh, just Si. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We might include old Stone on this. I got to see if I can find. He's done. Just quit inviting people. Um, <laughs> that boat's hey, getting full. I got to see if I can hey. find my pitching machine jersey so he can autograph pitching it. Pitching machine jersey. You know what's funny? <laughs> my sister has Deion Sanders' autograph, and I was always jealous because he stayed at the Holiday Inn in Monroe. Payback. Like, super long ago. And my sister just has his name on a piece of paper. That's awesome. So he was super nice back then, too. Now you can get people. it on a honey hole right. shirt. Right. Hey. No, I, I got to find my – my mom's never thrown away anything, so I guarantee you my pitching machine jersey somewhere. Okay, boy. And I'm going to get Deion Sanders to autograph that number 21. Hey, why can't we get him on the show, Martin? I don't know. Well, you have, to, you have to talk to his agent about that. Okay, I ain't, boy, hey, I ain't yeah. dealing in media relations. I'm just saying the man wants to go fishing. <laughs> well, I'm not going to take him fish. Boy. Open invitation, sir. Yeah, come yeah. on, show. This seat. We will kick Phil seat. out anytime you that want seat. to. <laughs> I'll kick <laughs> any of it. The only person I'm not kicking out, Si. So, Dion. You're scared of Si, be honest. Hey. Prime time. Hey, I'm not a, as scared of Si as I am of Phil. Hey, get a bag of wacky worms, boys. That's what I'm going to be fishing. No, not the pond I'm taking you to. Oh, but look, no, we'll... We oh, got, hey, they'll hit that wacky worm, I, son. Hey. Trust me, there's just better mouse traps. All right, oh, let's take another hey, break. We'll be back right trap, after this. Boys. If you have a head full of hair right now, right now is when you want to start using Keeps. Yeah, don't wait till... That way you Martin. don't look like me and Philip, and you look like you got a toilet seat around your hey, head. It's common sense, boys. You know? I mean, I'm just telling you, yeah. if you don't want this... We got yeah, something. Use, use keeps. <laughs> keeps. So I show this. It helps you keep so show what you got. Hey, it's common sense, boys. Hey, yeah. this is the, hey, mine's going too. Yeah, we but you're 73. Too late. I'm 35. Yeah. Hey, it's too late. We use look. anti-models here at the Duck Call Room. That's what hey, I'm do you not want to look like this ugly son of a gun? <laughs> hey. Keeps.com. Right. It works for you. Don't end look, up like if this. If somebody would have told me at 19, I'd have been popping them suckers. But it. as it is, I'm bald. At 21, it was all gone. And look, I kind of hope the baldness will start to my back, but that's neither here nor there. Look, you've got a million reasons to be stressed out these days, right? Stressing out about your male pattern baldness and receding hairline doesn't have to be one of them. The good news is Keeps can help. Keeps offers the same doctor-recommended, FDA-approved hair loss treatment, but they're the generic version, so you only pay half. Paying half is a good thing. It's a great deal. And one more thing you'll love about Keeps, you can do everything online, answer a few easy questions, Snap a few pictures of your hair. There's, this is a judgment-free zone. And a licensed doctor will review your info and recommend the right hair loss treatment for you. Then it's shipped to your door. Why make trips to the doctor and drugstore when you can do it all online from your couch? So let's get you started with a special discount. Go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Robertson for 50% off your first order of hair loss treatments. That's Keeps dot com slash Robertson. Keeps dot com slash Robertson. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming back from a break, and that hey. break was fantastic. I got a size some ice. He's now drinking his tea. We poured in his boy. coffee. Chilling out. And Phil McMillan said he's got a story for us. Tell us, Phil. Well, my story is on the way back from the event in Mississippi. I don't Mississippi, know why I did that. Philadelphia, Mississippi. Yeah. Coming home. Can I mention something? Go ahead. Yeah. Isn't Philadelphia in Pennsylvania? Mm. No, this one's in Mississippi. <laughs> okay, just double check. <laughs> it's for the Choctaw... And in Mississippi. I don't know. Golden Moon Casino place. is. But anyway, so we're we're headed back, and me and Si are just easing to the house. You know, we're talking like we always do. And we come up on a car that's going probably 50 miles an hour. It wasn't that fast. Well, you think it was slower? It was 40, 40 or 35. In the, in the fast lane. On and, a interstate. And so I can't get over to the right because other people are lined up. 
Somebody's phone's ringing. <laughs> hey, it's just a public service I announcement. Could, I could just hear it in the background. This is while an, you were talking, it was going. He's an important right. man with an important <laughs> job. That way, hey, look, that was our local police jury right. there. I thought that, really right there. Yeah. Right. I thought he's that was important. A, I thought yeah. that was a bee over there that was half dead and was buzzing <laughs> on the on the wood. Yeah. So look, so I, I almost had to lock him up. I'm just and so I was like, "Good grief, son!" And I'm like, "This person just won't won't get out of the way." And so we wait while we're getting passed up by what seems like a mile of cars. We finally get to get over, and I want to give them an opportunity to get in the slow lane. So I'm waiting, but they won't get over. So traffic's backing up behind both of us. So I ease up, and I get in front of them. I just look at Si. I said, good grief. I can't stand this when people do that. Just get over in the other lane. I said, I should just lock them up right here. And he was like, no, don't do that. I said, I'm just saying that's what I felt like. And then... But if I'll just keep driving in five minutes, this is going to go away and everything's going to be okay. And then Sai asked me, he said, he said, let me just ask you something. Do you really think that this is a, a situation where where people all go through this a lot? And I said, yeah. He said, because Willie had a verse in one of our podcasts yeah. where he talked yeah. about the fruit of the he spirit. He did it. Okay. Galatians 5, and then, and then I did it again. We've hit Galatians 5.22 the past two podcasts because I wasn't, Willie did it, and then I didn't know he did it, yeah. and then I did it, and then I saw that he did it, and I was like, well, hey, right. get the fruits of the Spirit, people. Well, no, no, but I need to remind you what they are. Love, peace, joy, gentleness, kindness, goodness, okay, self-control, okay, and look, I told Philip after we'd done this rum up behind this guy, I said, I had one the other day, okay, that he l- literally going he was in the fast lane right here in west monroe okay and he's going like 25 miles an hour okay and and he's got another guy right beside him in the slow lane they're both going 25 miles an hour so i up behind him you know like hey a drag race yeah hey you know put <laughs> yeah put some you know put some your foot down on the thing and, and go ahead and go around him and get over i can hear yeah. you getting well out. hey <laughs> so i'm getting a little I, I didn't show the fruits of the spirit trust me okay no. and i'm he got I'm, off that fruit and got in no, the thistles no no yeah i got the thorns <laughs> and thistles, okay because it, it, it scared me because not only did the person driving the car okay wouldn't move over but she didn't tap her brake pedal to make the lights come on. Mm-hmm. She slammed on the brake. And, hey, I like to rear-ended her. Okay? Oh, so Lord, it, you about rear-ended no, no, Brittany. No, no. Well, hey, look. That's her move. It could have yeah, been. Hey, it scared me. Mm-hmm. Okay? Folks, here's the thing. Okay? In this day and age, with all the drug problems that the United States of America have got, it's like when you're behind the wheel and you're doing stuff that may – you think it's funny, okay? What you're doing is like taking a 357 Magnum pistol, okay. clicking out five shells, leaving one in it, putting it together and spinning it, putting it to your head and playing Russian roulette. Because, hey, you don't know who's driving that car, and you're out there doing inconsiderate things, you're operating, operating a vehicle, okay, in a society, and there's a lot of other people. You're not the only. This is not your private highway. My man, you spit, okay. you spitting fire now. Well, no, no, because, <laughs> hey, preach, hey. Preach, brother. Come on. Well, I ain't it's, it's, Come on, preach. It's a, it's a scary situation, okay? Preach it, son. Look, well, yeah. a kid. Spitting okay. that fire, son. No, no, Come on. Hey, hey, a man. kid six years old just got killed, and, mm-hmm. hey, guess what started it? Road rage. Road rage, yeah. Okay. Oh, I Because, it. hey, yeah. that car in front of me the other day that I locked the rear end may had a child in a seat belt. Mm-hmm. And what if I'd have slammed into her and killed that kid? Yeah. Yeah, out of anger. <laughs> you know, yeah. just out of stupidity, okay, on both parts. I agree. Number one, look, it's a law, okay? If you're going to drive, okay, if you come up with somebody and you're in the slow lane, you put your left blinker on, you go around him, and okay, and as soon as it is safety for you to get back over, you get back over. That's a law. Preach it, brother. Come on. You know, so, hey, look, all I'm Come doing on. is, all I'm saying is, okay, please drive considerate, okay? You're not the only one on the highway. Come on, brother. Let's hear yeah. it. So, hey, hey so look, that, that's an excellent point. Well, and, I'm just and saying, be safe, guys. It's like he was telling me, he said, 
And but what he said was, he said, "Listen, Philip, I'm I'm working on this because no, no, I handled it wrong. Know, it's, I it's, handled it wrong. But it, when I went around her, I got on the horn and I scared her. Okay." <laughs> But wait, this is what I got on that horn? She scared me, okay, because I like to rear end the girl, okay? Yeah. Well, I like what yeah. you said, though, because because yeah. you t- you said, first of all, I'm working on this. This ain't something that I've got down pat. But then he said, I started thinking, when I get behind the wheel, am I still living by the fruits of the yeah. Spirit? Yeah, Love, I'm joy, Christian, peace, and, and then I'm look, And then I started like feeling bad because I wanted to get this car that was holding us up. And he said, just think about where it would lead. If you turn around, you slam the brakes on, they shoot at you. All of a sudden, we got a truck full of weapons. We shoot back. Uh, Uncle Si's in the hospital. He got <laughs> hey, he's shot. You know, what happened? No, no. Oh, road look, rage. Look here. I'll give you an example, okay? <laughs> when I was younger, okay, <clears throat> there were some people that had four-wheel drives, and guess what they did? They put steel two-inch pipes on front, and it run it down the side. Have you ever heard hey, this story? Mm-hmm. look. If you would have run out and done that little maneuver with them guys, they would have put that four-wheel drive in third gear, eased up on your bumper, put the pipe on your bumper, and pushed you off the road yeah. you if wouldn't, you wouldn't get out of the way. You wouldn't do it but one time. Well, no, no. I'm just saying, Soop, back the in the day, the people I run with had pipes on their pickup truck, yeah. four wheel drive, and hey, if you'd pull that maneuver with and them, push people you're, off the road. Hey, yeah, they will push you off the side of the road. Okay, well, and just go on about. I guess I'm just not in that big of a hurry. No, but here's what I tell well, you, and I, I agree. Look, look, I you can ask anybody. I'm a pretty defensive driver. I don't. You're I don't get in a hurry. I, feel I leave most comfortable with. I leave early. I'm never like oh, I get there. You know, having to haul to get somewhere on time. I leave early. I'm fine with it. But I will say, when you're on the roads these days, you see a glaring problem in today's society on that highway. And it's just like what Cy said. It's dangerous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, not that's, dangerous. That's one of the it's problems. selfishness. Yeah. Inconsiderate. It's what it yeah. is. It's selfishness. The only thing that matters is what's going on in this four feet of car mm-hmm. in my life. You don't. They don't think about anybody else. But except what's happening right here. They don't think about the person beside them, behind them, in front of them. It's none of that. It's just all about them right there in that moment, and that's it. That's all they care about, which is <clears throat> one of the reasons we are where we are today. And apparently I missed the study that showed that the cruise control can cause brain damage because they don't use that rascal neither. <laughs> oh, here we go. You can put that thing on. You can put, look, people out there, there's a button. It says cruise. Yeah. You can set that thing, and you will go that speed. Yeah. You don't have to do nothing other than steer. Yeah. Mark Brister. And, hey, like, and it's a gas saver. Okay. It is. Yeah. Philip so. Millen done gotten the first and last names over here. <laughs> yeah. I Data couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Data I said it earlier. Yeah, I would say, oh. though, I drive in a way where – I'm I'm not like stone where I just don't even like other people, but I don't trust them. No, I don't either. So I'm I'm watching every car and what's funny and is- I go I actually I do like y'all probably wouldn't like me because I'm about five under the speed limit just because. It's Look, more comfortable. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but you ain't over riding in the left lane. No, yeah. I, if you want around yeah. me, it's easy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very cordial. Yeah, hey, you can go. Yeah. The only no thing, Look, and folks, hey, I'll be the first son. Okay, I can tell Philip. Okay, I'm working on my issues with that. <laughs> okay, I'm are. not a saint. Okay, sometimes people pull it short in front of me, and it irritates me to no end. But here's here's the thing that I, I'm trying to get you to realize about this. Okay, and me personally. Okay, I let someone else. Okay, they was doing something stupid, and they made me react to it, and I reacted stupidly. Well, Sai, okay. you know the good thing. Yeah. You can't spell saint or sinner without S-I. Well, hey, I did. <laughs> there it is, buddy. But, hey, all I'm telling you is, folk, look, hey, when you get in your vehicle, you need to put this in the back of your mind. Okay, no matter what happened today, I'm going to be with the fruits of the Spirit. Yeah. Don't go, on, go, don't go the thorns and sizzle route that I did the other day. <laughs> Amen, brother. That's right. Well, because we probably, I mean. Drive well, fruity. Because it's, well, hey, if you it's, drive, dry, it's, it, it's dangerous. Okay? And, and it's, like, it's like that. It's funny to think about it and drive with the fruits of the Spirit because it yeah. sounds silly. But it literally, if you do things with the fruits of the Spirit, 
everything gets better, right? I, including yeah. driving. And if we all did that, yep. we'd we'd have a yep. lot less stories of uh, bad car accidents and stuff yeah. like that because people would just be considerate. They mm-hmm. wouldn't be getting upset. They'd be pay. They wouldn't be because you're right. It's selfish. People are on their cell phones. People aren't thinking. Oh, this person behind me might have three kids in the back of their car yeah. and they're just trying to go to and they're like oh uh, i wonder what sarah's doing this afternoon or well, across i don't there. care don't what matter. sarah's yeah. doing this yeah. afternoon i just want to live i can find out what she's doing work. when i get to where i go yeah so yeah, yeah. don't do don't get me on themselves hey, no, don't no, get me on themselves no it is it's it's incredible it's yeah. it's just a so oh. be considerate drivers there's oh. not a bible verse for that just i'm sure there's one about chariots and stuff yeah no there's <laughs> <laughs> but Love one another. Put other hey, put it, others' it needs. It was dangerous ahead back in the chariot day too. Oh man! <laughs> he cut me off. Get the whip out. <laughs> back in the chariot <laughs> yeah. days, boy. All right, boys. Let's take our last break. We'll be back. Right Are after we already this. to our last break? Yep. Oh yep. wow. A heads up about our brother podcast, Unashamed with Phil and Jace Robertson. Phil, Jace, and Al will be doing their podcast in front of a live audience next Wednesday. That's June 23rd at the NRB 2021 Christian Media Convention in Grapevine, Texas. Now, here's the cool part. The convention just changed things up so anyone with an expo-only pass can check out the exhibits and... See the live podcast with Phil, Jason, Al. I'm sorry, Al. You're always last. They should go alphabetical. This should be Al, Jason, Phil. Sorry. I'm rooting for you, Al. If you'll be in the Dallas-Fort Worth area on Wednesday, June 23rd, this is your chance to get a pass and watch the live show in person at a deep discount. All you have to do is head to nrbconvention.org slash register and use the code UNASHAMED to register for an expo-only pass. That's NRB as in National Religious Broadcasters nrbconvention.org slash register and use the promo code unashamed to get an expo only pass and watch the first ever first ever live unashamed podcast for just 25 dollars 25 stitches in your britches i need to make a shout out too before you get finished go ahead and shout them out shout it out right now phil when we when 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 we were at the last event with si that's not a shout out that's a story i can't help it brister came on stage and sang a song for for (laughs) si and it was hilarious and a boy came from the audience got up on stage and danced and his name was elam robbins and they did the uh Funky Brother, chicken. what thou dance? <laughs> oh, it was was he yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it, on Martin. stage? Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and Constance Sound. Hey, hey, oh. yeah. hey, they loved it. The fans, the fans loved it. Yep. Thank you, Elon. All right, um, so we're in that hell Was that kid allowed on stage? Oh, she just, just ran. We up couldn't there. stop him. Y'all if you dance, he just security. came up. If you dance like that, they're gonna let you go. Oh, in come on, let go for it, boy. Anyway, look, Anyhow. we're in. We're about to get in that hello at duckcallroom dot com email bag. Look, if you got any thoughts, questions, or concerns, if you're a bad driver and want to self admit it to Sai and ask him to pray for you, send it on. Please, send the need, list hey, is growing. Y'all pray for me. That's exactly right. <laughs> because you. he needs the prayers and y'all need the practice. Johnny That's D, it, what boy. you got, son? Hey. <laughs> Boy, you should work at a church with yeah, that. Kidding. Sir. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, so we asked y'all to send questions from the Bible. I but I I don't think we're gonna get to that because of the whale story that Cy si stole from me that I was gonna use this segment. Uh oh. I'm uh, so glad you heard about it. I, no, that's so cool. But it look, is. all right, ready for the list? Yep. Here's the list of people that sent me an article about my man getting swallowed and then spit out by a whale. Nathan, Gabriel, Austin, Nick from Dadeville, Alabama, Ashley, Adam from Connecticut. Caleb from Gastonia, North Carolina, and just another guy named Caleb. Every one of them wanted us to talk about my man getting <laughs> swallowed by the whale. So we hit that one. Uh, quick nailed it. I could yeah. go through my and Instagram early. and Facebook messages, and I got probably a dozen in there that said, Make sure you share this with Cy. Oh, yeah. And I was oh, like, yeah. Oh, don't worry, Hammer. We got oh, this. And I was All a right. little disappointed that you'd heard about it because I, I wanted to see your immediate reaction. Like, oh, no. You don't miss that. You're one. not going to believe you what know, happened. You don't miss that. One. No, no. That's why it was, you know, the, it made my weekend. I know. It really did. I wish I yeah. was there because hey, I, hey, I would have laughed a with A question you. is asked by a human, and, and God is. says, okay. Here. Not just any that, human. Yeah. A yeah. stupid human. A stupid human. human. No offense, yeah. Thomas. And no <laughs> offense, Thomas. <laughs> We're okay, because as far as I'm concerned, the whole human race is stupid. That's I true. agree with that. All right. Yeah. And then, so we, we were asking what, what kind of fish. This is how this all started. We missed a very important Bible verse, gentlemen. What's that? We did. What? And is it involved with Jonah? Nineveh. It, it involves Jonah Nineveh. and a man named 
Jesus. Ooh. Okay. Lay it on me, JD. And so a bunch of people sent this in too. I don't have the whole list, but his name's John David, so he's getting the shout out from Kingsport, Tennessee. He said, "Hey, Matthew twelve forty. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so the son yep. of man. So it probably was a whale. Yep. yep. Jesus go. said it. I didn't. I forgot totally about that oh. verse off the top of my head. And a ton of people sent it in. So John David." Thank you, sir. Great name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First off, <laughs> from oh, Kingsport. On. Kingsport's over in East Tennessee. In Tennessee. Yeah. That's where you. That's where your rig probably started at. Well, he's not he, an Owen. No, but you said that y'all was in that East Tennessee bag. You know, I did the Ancestry.com oh. thing. I ended up a little disappointed uh, on one <laughs> side of the family. Come on, man. Fight, hey, fight. Look, he fought from the wrong side of the American Revolution, for crying out loud. Is that for, that's where your, your kin folks came from, J.D.? Who? Tennessee. The hills and We dollars. don't know. Well, the Owen, allegedly. We, well, buddy, I'm right there with you because Robertson come from Tennessee. Yeah. In a couple of Allegedly, wagons. somewhere on that Appalachian now, my Trail, other side, they dropped that S. Yeah. 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 Well, uh-huh. it's because if you meet <laughs> yeah, an Owens... Owen. Owens, those Owen. are those those come from the outlaws and the the not so good side of the family Ooh. back in the day. Oh, the horse thieves. The horse Owen. thieves. Oh. Hi. If you meet an Owen, they were part of the good side. <laughs> but that's been Owen. a few years. So. Who you got knows? history, son? Okay, history right. boys. But yeah, no. And then I, we're not going to get to. Remember, we asked people. Well, still, I want more questions. I want to do a whole episode on. What do you want to ask when you get to heaven? There's some good ones. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's some good ones coming in, but I'm saving yeah. those up for yeah. maybe a whole episode. And here's a quick question. And I feel like I need to address this because it makes me mad. Uh-oh. Uh, Sterling, Sterling from Sacktown, and I appreciate it. He actually said Sacktown. Um, he wants to know how we all drink our coffee. And he wants to know how many of us drink it black. Look, Sterling. Black coffee's gross. No, 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 no. Black coffee's where it's at. No. People, you don't have to drink coffee to be a man. You can drink <laughs> Look, water. I'll say this. Black on coffee. the On the off chance I do drink coffee, which is once a year. In a blue moon. Maybe. Yeah. It is jet black and so bitter that you should probably uh, just throw it out or put it in your engine. Thank, thank you. Something. Thank you. Uh, Say that more. So, Phil, well, your black coffee. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, Sia ask, likes that cream and sugar. No, no. Let me ask you this, though. Did you drink yours down there out of Phil's? Uh, no. Ooh. I did once. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> I said, hey, I ain't going back he in. He hadn't been able to sleep no, 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 ever hey, since. Phil doesn't no. drink coffee. No, it's tall. No, that's, okay. that's kind of no, syrup. It's black motor, uh, burnt motor oil. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah okay. it's terrible. And Jace is about yeah. the same. No. Take us home, Johnny D. What, yeah. is, is, what is this week, Galatians 5? G- hey, look, <laughs> my bad on that one. <laughs> Here we go. Newsflash. Yeah. Hey, what change is this, versus Groundhog boys, Day? We done rolled that horse. Yeah, I, look, my bad. All right. The uh, Willie replacing me episode. No, it ain't bad, aired, J.D. No. And we had our, our esteemed guest, Phil, in the building, and he already started in on him. I was like, oh, man, this is going to be great. I'm going to do the Fruits of the Spirit at the end. And then I watched the episode like an hour after that of Willie replacing me, and I was like, oh, dead gum. Mm-hmm. So get the Fruits of the Spirit. But this week I got you something brand new. Uh, pastor, A pastor friend of mine named Ryan Lowe put this one on us yesterday read it like him oh i can't do that <laughs> he's a he's a small little fellow that i love he's one of my good friends but he's he gave us isaiah 43 just we're gonna start at the beginning but now this is what the lord says he who created you jacob he who formed you israel do not fear for i have redeemed you i have summoned you by name you are mine when you pass through the waters i will be with you And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. And I control all of it. And he's with you. Hey. Booyah. And he does control it all. Thank you. Yep. Amen. Maybe. We'll see y'all next time right here Good in the job, Duck Call Katie. Room. Next time on the Duck Call oh, Room. Yeah. And next time. Get me to do a Ryan Lowe impression. Hey, that-